Sons of prostitutes, how do you feel about what your mother did? A friend has a mom who is a meth head and prostitute. From his descriptions, she's in rough shape, homelessness, ill health, $10 blowjobs in alleys. He is married and stable. He goes out two to three nights a week looking for her. When he finds her, he gives her money gets her to eat, tries to get her off the street. Many times, she doesn't recognize him. I asked him why. It's futile AF, and he knows it. He said, it's my mom, as long as she and I are alive, I can't stop trying. This one hurts. Right in damn heart. That last line legit my me tear up. I hope this at least makes someone decide not to do math. I found it pretty terrible at the time. I find it even worse today. Back when I was 8 years old, we had to move out from our house with my whole family because my mother kicked my father from the house he was paying the rent for. Living in France, we were able to get social help since she was a lonely parent without work and we could afford a small flat with a little food. Walls were very thin. What I mean by that is that, everything that would happen in the room next to the one you were in, you could hear everything. And my bedroom was in the middle of my older brother's and my mother's room. I could hear people entering the room, doing their stuff with my own mother before a few minutes of silence and another man getting in. And I heard that for two years until my mother found out I was diabetic, said that she couldn't take care of me anymore, and kicked me out so that my father could take me back with him. I feel mostly terrible about what she did because, she wasn't even using this money to buy my brothers and me essential things like clothes, food, or anything. Instead, she was using it in gambling and her drug addiction. I never heard from her after that. And it's better this way. Edit, thank you very much for all your messages, awards and such. Let me add something a little brighter to this story, as I told in the comments, social workers came and asked my father to come pick us up and stay at his place for a few days. Sadly, after this she never accepted to see us again. But, since I've been with my father, everything truly turned for the best. While I was living at my father's, since my mother wasn't paying anything for us, he was doing it. He bought us at the time clothes, consoles, and laptop and bought me a phone after I got out of the hospital to keep contact with him. When both of my brothers graduated from high school, he bought them newer laptops for their studies, furniture and also gave them opportunity to reach for pretty good schools. We now own a house, I'm currently aiming for an English license, and while always having the support of my father. Things haven't been the best in the past. But I still have my father here who always supported me, no matter what happens. Bless you man. What happened to your brother? What happened at the time of us leaving was that, my mother was hitting brother one, while brother two called social workers to help us out. They asked my father, who wasn't living that far away from us, to come pick us up and stay for a night or two. But after that, she refused to see all three of us ever again. We would just come back at her place a few times to pick our stuff and leave. My mother was a prostitute in the Dallas slash Fort Worth area in the 90s and early 2000s. I spent the majority of my time with her going place to place and watching it all unfold. I would carry about a little Jansport backpack with a NASCAR VHS, some action figures, and cars and everything seemed okay even though I knew it wasn't the normal of everyone else. Days would go where I would see my mom, or I would just kind of bumble around hitting up the 7-Eleven, stuffing candy bars into big gulps. It was a really odd childhood but I did, and still do love my mother dearly. We had a strange bond in a motherson way, but I don't know it was odd as a kid but I always knew mom would be there. We would normally get happy meals the day after and it was really rad. I struggled through my teenage years as I learned about sex and whatnot, people making your mom jokes and it was just always hard to work through that. I still hold my mother in such high regard because I feel like she did the best she could for a drug addicted prostitute. I'm in therapy now to work through that and other childhood trauma and it's been good. Edit, it's actually been really nice and refreshing to share all of this with you. I have some writings I've been working on from this time, I would love to share them if anyone is interested. Also, some have mentioned doing an AMA, if people see interested I'm down. Last update. I'll do the AMA tonight, and I'll try to link this for background for anyone else. I like your clarity. I had revelations about my mom in therapy. She was my only good parent but not in a normal traditional way. 
she did what she could with the tools available to her. Exactly. On paper, my father was the good parent, had a great job, nice house etc. I lived with for a few years but was emotionally abused and neglected. I can count on one hand the amount of time him and I have done anything together, but my brothers did everything with him. My stepmom viewed me as damaged goods so my father did also. My mother showed me love, compassion, sacrifice and so much more. She did anything it took to make sure I was fed and enjoying life. I smile every time I think of those crazy, nonsense days. Was she a prostitute? Yes. A drug addict? Yes. Did she make awful decisions? Yes. But she loved me. Preschool teacher here. The best outcomes for children happen when at least one adult consistently shows up for them and advocates for what they need. Full stop. What they look like, what gender, what occupation never matters. Love changes everything, two hearts. That last line made me cry. One must never underestimate the love of a mother. Damn. I got nothing but love for you both. Doing the best you can for someone else when you aren't thriving yourself got to count for something. I've created a community for all of us. Our slash children of prostitutes. It's not just for the children or just those born to prostitutes. Please feel free to share your story. All are welcome and loved. Reddit link. Made this account just to reply to this very applicable question. It'll be a bit of a read but I promise it all ties together. I spent a lot of time bouncing around places as a kid with my mom and dad. Dad was in and out of prison for violent crimes, mom never had a job and kept jumping from boyfriend to boyfriend. I don't remember much of what happened in my life pre-age 10, other than the abusive stuff. My mother finally ended up meeting a man that was taking care of her and super nice to my siblings and me. He had her live with him but was unable to take my siblings and myself for reasons to be found out later. We got dumped off at my grandparents, mother's side, for almost a year. While living there we would be beaten with planks of wood for next to no apparent reason. Ten-year-old me, nine-year-old sister, eight-year-old autistic brother, we considered this fairly normal behavior since all we've really grown up with was abuse. So, it was never mentioned to my mom or her boyfriend. Near Christmas, my mom and her boyfriend were planning on coming by to visit us and spend some time together, I got batteries for Christmas this year, nothing else from grandparents. When we had time with them, alone the beatings came up in conversation with my mom, her boyfriend, and the kids. Screaming fight then occurred between grandparents and them. We were immediately scooped up from my grandparents place by my mom and her boyfriend, nothing but pajamas on and no other clothes taken with us. The next day mom's boyfriend takes us out clothes shopping, buys us whatever we want. Treats us to places like Chuck E. Cheese's, swimming pools, restaurants and all sorts of fun stuff nearly every single day. Around 11 years old I start to figure out why we're being kept out of the house so often, it was a brothel essentially. I was never a dumb kid but I was always quiet and kept it to myself, why mess up all these Chuck E. Cheese days? I didn't realize my mother was also one of the prostitutes working until certain days I had no choice but to stay in the house and hear her work in the room next to me. This life goes on all the way through to my high school years. Her boyfriend and her end up breaking up halfway through, my brother gets sent to live with a family that specializes in taking care of autistic children and my sister is still with us. My mother is back to jumping around boyfriends but still working. What surprised me the most during all of this is that her ex-boyfriend, the pimp, decided to keep on taking care of my sister and me. He was never a strict father figure, I skipped school and did whatever I wanted. Yet, he was always there for me when no one else was. He would always give me money if I needed it, advice when things got rough, and a family that I always wanted. He was definitely not your typical pimp. Fast forward, a few years and my mom has turned to alcoholism and is still working. She's staying in a place with my stepfather, this is what I call him now, and myself. I've turned into a fairly large man by this point and every time she had a problem client, I'd be called in to kick them out which was always fairly odd but I didn't mind. I have a big trigger when it comes to violence against women and I will absolutely not stand for it. Especially after my father would constantly beat my mother when I was a child, remember those selective pre-age 10 memories I have. My biological father has become a paranoid schizophrenic and has for some reason started to take to spending time with me because he can relate to me now that I'm a man and not a kid that needed a dad. 
I blow him off eventually in a bit of a fit of rage about everything he's done and what he's never been there for. Haven't spoken to him in years. Now I'm nearing 30, no contact with either biological parent. I just got a house with my girlfriend and her family treats me with plenty of love. I still see my stepdad every week and talk to him all the time. He's older now and can't run the business anymore. I help him financially or with labor any chance I get and I have absolutely no problems with this. This pimp is the best dad I could have ever asked for. I kind of wrote this on a whim and hope it's not too jumbled to read. As a TLDR for people asking for perspective on the son of a prostitute. Mom slept with men in the room beside me, I had to kick them out when I got older. She was never there for me and cared more about partying and alcohol. I ended up bonding with her pimp and he became the person I care about most in this world. My dad. Edit, I've got to say I'm touched by the incredible amount of positive feedback here. There's obviously a lot I've had to cut for a single Reddit post. I just wanted to let everyone know I shared this post with my sister and all of your comments. She was never sure how I felt growing up and all of your support has been quite a surprise. Wow. I'm glad you took the time to share, and so sorry your childhood was so rough. I'm usually a pretty closed off person but this question just kind of sparked the need to write it out for me. Felt too specific not to. I'm personally thankful in my own way for the things I dealt with while growing up. They prepared me for a lot of hardships and I feel I'm a better person from it. Rock your life sir. Wishing you all the best and I'm happy you are now surrounded by healthy love. This is actually a pretty touching coming of age story, albeit an atypical one. I'd watch this movie. Thank you so much for sharing your story. I really feel for you, concerning the hard times you've faced, but was glad to read you came out on top, congrats on the house and your dad. Thanks so much for sharing. I'm glad that you were able to find a parent figure in an unlikely place and land on your feet. It sounds like quite the life though, let me know if you write a book about it. Yeah your life is literally a movie. The award season kind. I grew up with a guy whose mother was a prostitute. It did not end well. He was abused by multiple men. She was a severe drug addict. Last, I knew my friend was in prison. The mom has long since been dead from an overdose. My sister was adopted by my mom at birth, her biological mom was a drug addict and prostitute. As an adult my sister reached out to her bio family and her mom is now sober, or, something like it, and doing much better in life, so it's nice for my sister to have a bit of a relationship with her and her siblings. She really suspected when she reached out that her bio mom would be in the situation of your friend's mom, which is to say dead from an overdose. This is so sad. I'm sorry. Mom was a porn star in the 70s 80s, did stuff with Ron Jeremy and the like, it was always a very taboo thing growing up, but my dad tried to prepare us for bullies at school due to the town being fully aware of what she did. No bullies. Wow. I locked eyes with Ron Jeremy for most of a Greg Allman show at Bonnaroo. I couldn't figure out why I recognized him and thought I knew him personally from where I lived. I don't know why he kept staring back. It wasn't until the end of the show that I realized I shared an hour locked eyes with Ron Jeremy to the sounds of Greg Allman. That alone changed me and I can't get that hour back. I can only imagine. Why did you two stare at each other that long? Love. He's now in jail awaiting trial for several sexual assaults. Holy crap. Involving five women and a 17 year old girl, the new charges and previous claims could see 67 year old porn star facing 330 years in state prison if found guilty. The rape and other sex crimes revealed today range from 1996 in the San Fernando Valley to 2013 in a West Hollywood bar. There couldn't be a more appropriate poster child for the rape isn't about sex message. Also, Today I learned that there are matching black slash orange masks to go along with the orange prison jumpsuits. Web link. I wish more news outlets would use the word girl it's always referred to as underage woman and it takes the punch out of what the rapist did. Edit, gold is so nice but give it to the guy above me. They did actual work and made it convenient enough I just had to read the quoted text to make this comment. Damn, sounds like Ron Jeremy I effed you pretty hard. If you turned out all right had a good, safe childhood. Don't let anyone shame you. Ever. Well, 
I was apparently sexually molested by her, according to my dad. I don't remember it, as they divorced when I was six, I have very little memory of her at all. I turned out okay, but oftentimes I wonder if me being gay, and male, had anything to do with her. I was hypersexual through my teens, epigenetics are fascinating. Well, I was apparently sexually molested by her, according to my dad. I don't remember it, as they divorced when I was six, I have very little memory of her at all. I turned out okay, but oftentimes I wonder if me being gay, and male, had anything to do with her. I was hypersexual through my teens, epigenetics are fascinating. Wow, that is just a whole lot of no no juice. Skeptical I should probably have a therapist, but it feels good to get it off my chest to y'all. I hope you do see a therapist, that kind of crap stays with you. Hey, therapists are good and pretty easy to access now. There's some solid ways to do it without leaving your home. Mine didn't walk the streets but she slept with men when we needed money or food. She hid it pretty well. We always thought these men were being nice and just giving us money. Now that I look back on it all makes sense. She passed 10 years ago and I am thankful to her for it. I'm sorry for your loss, it sounds like she was just doing anything she could for the family to get by. I'm glad you're at peace with it. I was not prepared for all the wholesome and amazing comments. It sucks but I'm glad she did what she could to raise you. I hope she rests easy. I had a similar childhood, lots of men in and out of our house. I was a pretty observant kid and knew what was going on, but still as an adult looking back there were obvious things I missed. She died almost 16 years ago, I'm thankful she did what she had to but still resentful we were even in that situation. My aunt was a prostitute and she killed her son as well as her two daughters, so I'll speak for them. The oldest daughter was a little older than me and she hated her life with her mom. My family and our grandmother stepped in to help raise them and we all wish we adopted them before the tragedy. This isn't an anti-sex work viewpoint, it's just my family's story. My aunt had a lot wrong with her. This is beyond horrible. These poor kids. It was actually the 25th 24th year anniversary on March 23rd. It was a rough day for us. Edit, corrected my math. I can't even imagine. I'm sorry. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube and share them with your friends. We welcome your comments below. Press to start another of our videos.